Hey YouTube, how you guys doing? Um, this is a, I guess, a update video, I guess. I, I'm not really sure. It's just, um, I want to do um, a quick little video just on um, a couple of basics of traditional grip that um, a few folks have been asking about that I'm hoping I can clarify. Um, so hopefully this video will be really, uh, really short. But a couple of questions I've been asking is just like, Concerning the rebound stroke when uh, your your index finger is on top of the stick, as well as the angle of your stick when it's coming down, um, I think a few I guess a few a few of you sorry are having problems with the stick kind of flopping around. So I kind of want to talk about that a little bit. All right. So first of all, the angle of your stick, okay, um, isn't is not 90 degrees. I Meaning from your arm and rest to the stick is not 90 degrees. Okay, the stick should come out at an angle like this. All right. So that's that's definitely the position you want to be in. So if you think of the um, your drum pad or snare drum as a clock, okay, then, then your, uh, your right stick will be at 5 o'clock and your left stick will be uh, approximately 7 o'clock or in between 7 and 8 o'clock, something like that. Okay? So that's that's the angle of the stick, all right, just like that, okay. Now, um, and again, as far as getting the stick to make sure it's going up and down and not all over the place, okay. Again, it's important to make sure that your index finger is, you know, again, not stiff straight, but is definitely, um, you know, elongated and 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 alongside of the stick because that that keeps the stick from flopping like this. Um, but part of those issues might simply just be due to the process of, of getting accustomed to moving your wrist like this, okay? Uh, traditional grip overall is harder than, than match grip to learn. There, there's, there's no doubt about it, okay? Um, you know, I was taught this way from day one, so I've played this way since the age of six, okay? So uh, I'm obviously really used to it at, at this point, okay? So again, I would spend most of the time just doing this, okay? Fingers off the stick, you're holding it with the thumb, okay? You don't need to go fast. The goal, it should be really relaxed. The goal is just to move your wrist in step, in sync with the rebound of the stick, just like bouncing a ball. So again, I'm not pulling the stick up. I'm pushing it down, but then my hand is just um, riding with the stick as it rebounds back up. Okay, so just like a basketball, and then you push it down, boom, then ride back up. You push it down with your wrist, then ride back up. Okay, but it should be the rebound itself that pulls it back up, not your not your wrist. Okay, so this is what I would do because honestly, this is the this is really the grip. Um, is right here in the thumb. This is the, the main part of the grip. Okay? You know, and so um, if you're really struggling, I would maybe maybe sit there for a while before you even worry about adding the fingers. And uh, as I tell my students, your goal as far as a wrist rebound stroke, okay, speed-wise, is I would say, and I'll keep in mind I, I am saying goal. I don't mean by in a few days. I mean, you know, this is your goal. Now, how quickly it takes you to get here, I mean, it really depends on how much you're practice, practicing. One, but two, three, four, about here. One, two, three, four, one, two, okay? 16th notes at about 100 one, using two, your wrist. Three, okay? Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, right? Where it's three, relaxed. All right? That's your goal. Okay, and you know, and use a metronome to, to track your progress and just you know take your time with it. Okay, but anyway, to address the fingers, I guess, or the index finger on top. Okay, again, the finger on top of the stick is no different than with the uh, ring with the than the index finger off the stick. Okay, the index finger, uh, uh, all it does is it acts like a, a, a barrier or, or weight that pushes the stick down. Okay, that's it. Okay, if I'm playing really like high, 
like this, you'll probably notice that my index finger isn't on top of the stick. Okay? Because again, if you put your index finger over top of the stick and you turn your wrist, the stick is only going to go roughly about, about that high. The only way to get it further is if you turn your elbow in. You know, that's the only way. Now, granted, you could sit there and work on trying to get your wrist to be more flexible where you can, you know, turn it all the way up to 12 o'clock while keeping the index finger over top. And I can, you know, just about do it and, and get my elbow, you know, back by my side. Okay, but it's definitely hard. Okay, the index finger naturally pushes the stick down. So, again, I bring my index finger back over top of the stick once my stick comes to about this level and lowers when I bring my index finger back over top of the stick. Okay, so it, it kind of depends. All right, like, again, your index finger is there for additional control. Okay, but um, I don't always keep them touching. Okay. But anyway, just to address, okay, how do you do a rebound stroke with that index finger over, over top of the stick? Again, it's the same, okay? It's the same as if you're only using the thumb, okay? Except instead of your thumb, I guess, pushing the stick down, it's your index finger that's pushing the stick down, and your thumb is essentially against your index finger, okay? Right, but you notice my bottom fingers here aren't touching the stick. Okay, it's super loose. Okay, and again, you're just you're in this position and, and, and moving your wrist in sync with the rebound of the stick. Okay, just like that. Okay, and again, one, the goal right, is a shoot three, for a hundred. Okay, that's your goal. Okay, so so for as far as how you know when should you take the index finger off, you know that's up to you. Okay, I, again, um, you know I can keep my my index finger on top of the stick at a roughly around this height, but if I want to go further, you know like up to twelve, and maybe if I want to get you know full range of motion, I will typically let go of it and then catch it, okay? Um, but I don't think there's a hard, fast rule of, you know, when you should, you know, take the finger off, off, you know, off and when you should put it back on. You know, I, I, I'm really trying to not give you guys a lot of hard, fast rules um, outside of what I've already given you, you know, because there are some variations, you know, you know, to this grip, and that's what I'm really ultimately trying to give you guys, okay? But the goal of the index finger is to give you additional control, okay? So again, at lower heights, my index finger is constantly on top of the stick, okay? And I'm constantly using it as another driver to manipulate the stick, okay, especially when it comes to like double strokes and accents and things like that, is when I really use the index finger a lot. Okay, and, I, and if you've watched my my double strokes video, I talk about how I really use that index finger, you know, to snap those doubles so they can be nice and even. Okay, so that's where I really use the index finger a lot. Okay. And honestly, it's probably the, the sole driver I use when playing double strokes. Okay? All right. So, again, you know, I would experiment on, you know, with what is comfortable. Okay? Now, in the beginning, you know, none of this will probably be comfortable. Okay? Um, but once you get it going, you know, just experiment. Okay? Remember, the main grip is with the thumb. Okay, the fingers are just wrapped around the stick to give it support. Okay, how you want to use these fingers is ultimately, uh, you know, it's kind of up to you. Okay, I just, I just don't really follow a lot, lot of hard, fast rules when it comes to traditional grip on the drum set. Now, if we were playing rudimental snare drumming, then I would be a little bit more strict and stringent with, with my um, finger position and, 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 uh, and my grip itself, 
But on the drum set, you know, I definitely play a more, more looser, more open grip in general. Okay? Okay, so I, I hope uh, I hope that's somewhat clear. Okay, you know I, I uh, and and my own personal students that do play traditional grip have some of the same challenges. Once they add the fingers, you know they can't seem to let go of it. Okay, so um, you know so they, they they even have trouble with with the um, rebounding with the fingers on the stick. Okay, so something you could do if you're really struggling. Okay, with the rebound stroke with this index finger over top of the stick. This is this. I'll give you uh, something you can try to do. Okay, stick your bottom three fingers, which is your middle finger, ring finger, and pinky. Stick them out like this. So now you only have your your T intersection between your thumb and index finger on top of the stick. Okay, and then you know you can use your stick to bring it up. Okay, or to to bring the stick up. Or, you know, put your fingers back underneath, lift the stick, and then as you go down, throw those bottom fingers out. Okay? And just rebound using only that thumb and index finger. Okay? So if you're really having problems letting go of it with those bottom fingers, stick them out. Okay? And then try to get into the same in-sync motion of the rebound that you did when you were using just the thumb. Okay, and then once you get used to this, then you can bring those fingers back into a, a more closer position. Um, okay? So just like this. Okay, again, I'm pushing it down, and then I'm just, as the stick bounces back up, I'm, my wrist is riding along with it. Okay? All right, guys. I, I hope that, that helped. I, I mean, I really hope it helped um, because, um, you know, I definitely don't want any of my videos to leave questions. Um, so that's something I definitely don't want because then that means I'm not um, explaining things uh, thoroughly. Now, some of this, you know, it, it's hard to do through video. It's easier to do it in person. Um, but uh, so anyway, I'm, tr I'm, I'm trying my best. So just uh, you know, keep the comments coming. Um, you know, and uh, again, because when you when you do when you leave comments, whether good or bad, it it it, it helps me, uh, and you know, so I can hopefully try to improve the quality of the content here and, and what I'm trying to show you. Okay, guys. All right, guys. You all take care. We'll see you soon. All right.